This video gives an overview of how to use MPLABX to drive Proteus VSM for simulating and debugging your project. The first thing to do is to install the Proteus plugin. From the Tools menu, select the Plugins command, and then find the Proteus VSM viewer from the available plugins. Select the tool, press Install, and then follow the on-screen instructions until MPLABX restarts. Now that the installation is complete, you are ready to load or create your project. In our example, we will load an existing project from disk. Once the project is loaded, it is important to make sure that Proteus VSM is selected as the debug tool. You will find the configuration options in the Project Properties dialog form. The hardware tool can be changed here to Proteus if needed. By clicking on the Proteus VSM viewer under General Options, you are also able to change the Proteus project file that you are using for your work, although it is highly recommended that you place this file in the MPLAB project directory. After all the setup is complete and files are loaded, we are ready to compile our source code and simulate our project on the Proteus schematic. From the top debug menu, select Debug Project. Compile progress and error reports are shown at the bottom of the window. Following a successful compile, MPLABX will automatically launch Proteus for simulation. The connection state will be shown in the VSM viewer window at the bottom of the screen. Proteus will now be loaded and simulating the design for you. This particular design is a pressure and humidity data logger which uses a terminal as a command interface for the firmware. Also note the clock at the bottom of the screen showing the simulated runtime. Code breakpoints can be placed in the MPLABX IDE to pause the simulation at points of interest. Having placed a breakpoint in the command handler routine, we can return to Proteus and continue testing. If we select the terminal to give it focus, and then enter commands, we will soon hit our breakpoint and the schematic simulation will pause. The clock will display the exact point at which this happens. From MPLAB we can now single step our code, and verify expected results on the virtual hardware. When we step through a line of code, Proteus will execute that code through the virtual system, and then pause again. The simulation is cycle accurate, so instruction execution timings are precise. At this point, all of the debugging tools in MPLABX are at your disposal. The Proteus simulation is acting as virtual hardware and is advancing under debugger control. The simulation will start running freely when the code is stepped past the serial receive function and the firmware is polling the input from the terminal. At the end of the debug session, you can end the simulation from the control bar in MPLAB. After closing the session, a final message is displayed in the VSM Viewer tab to tell you that MPLAB has released Proteus and the two programs are no longer linked.